New developments, the old Pillsbury Mills plant is back in the headlines over the asbestos found in the building. Back in August of 2015, Illinois Environmental Protection Agency received a report that asbestos was being removed improperly, which can cause lung cancer and other illnesses if inhaled. And this summer, the state filed a lawsuit against one of the owners for how the asbestos was handled. The plant was scheduled to be demolished last August, but a judge halted the demolition due to asbestos still being used inside the building. Now we're learning today the US EPA says it will start work in a couple weeks to properly remove the contaminated asbestos when that has still been sitting at the Pillsbury site. News Channel 20's Eric Feldman first reported this update this afternoon. He explains the timeline for the EPA. It's going to take several months and a hefty price tag to clean up the Pillsbury Mills plant. 1.8 million dollars and the US EPA is not going to do, be doing much demolition rather they're going to be removing the contaminated asbestos from what's nearly everywhere around this 750,000 square foot facility residents nearby say it's about time a factory once bringing jobs and prosperity to northeast springfield now a shell of itself it reminds you of a bomb went off in this area bringing down a neighborhood an eyesore abandoned for years, sucking the value from nearby properties. How much has yours gone down? About $15,000. The state of Illinois sued the site's owners, saying they improperly removed asbestos. Now the US EPA says much of the three-quarter million square foot site apparently contaminated, including from a demolition of a building. I was thinking that that's a huge cloud of asbestos and who knows what else dust going up in the air is going to go right into everybody's lungs and into their houses and into their pets and everything. If you ingest it, you can get lung cancer. For more than a year, it's been unclear how the site will be cleaned, so the Illinois EPA contacted the US EPA. So the average resident or anybody who stands at the fence and looks won't see a lot uh, going on because most of the work is going to be occurring inside the building where all this stuff is, is um, laying about. Work will start mid-January to the tune of $1.8 million paid for federally by the taxpayers. It's definitely on the high end. A relief to people nearby. We're just very happy that it's finally getting done. Any step that gets us one close one step closer to bringing this building down is a good step, I think. Authorities say it will be clean, it will be safe, but the Pillsbury Mills site will remain, and when some development will come in, remains a question. If you have any questions about how the US EPA is going to be conducting this cleanup, there's going to be an open house on Tuesday, January 24th at the Lincoln Library. That's going to be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and again from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. We'll, of course, bring you full coverage then. Live in Springfield, Eric Feldman, News Channel 20.